Greetings, this is Dr. Wilson. I want to do a quick little overview for you on how you can uh, use Weebly to create an online portfolio. This online portfolio uh, we use in our graduate and undergraduate programs here at HBU, and it's a very easy tool to use. Many people go on and create teacher websites using Weebly as well. So you go to Weebly.com and create an account if you need to, and here I'm going to just hit log in so that I can log into my accounts. You can see I have multiple sites here that I uh, have used and created, but my encouragement to you is I'm going to go to this um, portfolio uh, site that has some overviews of different uh, ways to use Weebly portfolio. So here I've got kind of a template that you will use for your portfolio, each of our gra uh, undergrads and grad students will uh, create portfolios. The uh, Weebly uses drag and drop options, and so you can see some of my buttons are falling off this side over here, but you can still kind of see uh, how this works. So on your home page, and actually I can go to pages here, and you can see I, that I right now have four pages, and so you can drag and drop them around and whatever is at the top of your pile becomes your home. See the home button? So I'm going to make my home page or you could add a page if you already have a site and, and then drag it to the top to make it your home page and I'm going to call it a professional portfolio. Once I'm clicked on that I can save and edit. So now I'm in the editing view and uh, you can do several things here. So uh, generally speaking, I suggest that you do some kind of image uh, on this cover page. It can be a picture of you if you want, um, or it may be just something about teaching and learning that maybe you want to use. If you want to edit your picture, you can click edit. Over here, I can add text on top of it. So with this add text, this is where I was able to see here's another add text so I can maybe add even more than one text no I'm going to cancel that so I'm going to put right here and I'm going to say Dawn Wilson and I can move this text around if I want to whoops there's my picture that I have in there let me see if I can grab this text move it well, it's not moving very easily, but I know I can move it around. Uh, when, you, when you've got it where you want it, say, okay, I'll leave it like that for right now. And then up here at the top right is where you uh, click save. If you want to change the image, you can add any image you want in the buttons over here, and you can change the image. I'm going to go ahead and say save for right now. And then you're going to follow a pretty uh, similar kind of um, format. So initially, I'm going to 80. I'm going to X out this box so that it disappears. And the first thing I want to do is bring in an image and text box. I'll drop it in right here at the top. When I drop it in, notice all I have to do is click this button here, and then I would be able to add an image. And if I click here, I can do a little um, all about me, my hopes, and dreams. So you are to put a little bit of all about me. Who are you? What do you hope to do? Where you, what do you want to do? Put a picture of yourself here as well. You can highlight the text. Each template has a little different look and feel, but here's where I can change text colors um, if I want to. Um, you can also make your text larger if you want, smaller, bold, underline. You can see how that works, bulleted points. And so there's a little about me. I, I don't have a picture right now, but you would just click and get a picture or you can also drag and drop. The next part to your educational portfolio will, will to be for you to add an educational philosophy. Notice this has kind of a heading and then text. So I chose, um, or what I think you should probably do is choose a title piece and that would slide in first. And then you'll add a text piece and drag that into a second box. 
this is kind of a new template form so um, it's a slightly different from what I've done before then you're going to want to use your educator standards notice I put teacher educator standards that's in a text title box all by itself then these standards are standards that come from TEA. That's what every teacher should know and be able to do. And so these standards you can copy and paste from TEA's website um, and or from the resources that we give you. Then these standards that you paste into another text box that you brought in, right? The next section, I've got a title here that is Artifacts that Demonstrate Competence. In, uh, that's where we're going to put the, in each uh, of these areas, we're going to add, you're going to say what standard are you working on, what's an artifact that demonstrates competence for that particular standard, and then you're going to write a reflection. And the reflection should be something about why do you think this artifact demonstrates competency in the standard and what do you, did you learn through this process. So you will do this over and over again. So what I've done is you drag, and I'll just do it here so you can see, you drag the column piece in and then decide we need it to be a three column piece. That's just the format. Then I need to go and get text to add in there. So uh, I'm going to take, uh, let's see, I'm going to do here I'm going to say this is standard one let's just say so here's my text I click there's standard one and maybe uh, one of my artifacts that I'm thinking that I want to include standard one talks about that I design appropriate instruction so perhaps I have several lesson plans notice these aren't lining up exactly I can just pull this over like this to have them line up a little differently. So I'm going to drag text in again. I'm going to say that this is my lesson plan on uh, using an Excel spreadsheet. So then uh, I want to actually link to that so I'm going to highlight the text notice the buttons that come up this is the link button I'll click link you can go to a URL but this I actually want to link a file so I'm going to click a file I'm going to upload a file so I go to wherever I have that lesson plan that's not this but we'll pretend it is and so now it uploads it and keeps it there in my Weebly site now all I have to do is write a reflection. So again, I need to drag text down into the box. I want to reflect a little bit on why I think this artifact demonstrates competency within the standard. And then you'll repeat this process several times. And in fact, the next time I'm doing something for standard one, what I might do is drag the column over. I'm gonna put it right here. And maybe I won't put anything, three columns, in standard box but instead I am going to put text I'm going to have to spend a little time lining those suckers up right here so another standard one artifact so I'll put that particular standard here and do another reflection and I'll just keep going until I get all my standard ones in then I'll do standard two standard three standard four standard five you want to go all the way down until you have uh, several good examples for each standard as you work your way through so uh, really your portfolio can be all about one big long page and we just link to all the different artifacts and read about your reflections of what you've learned in the process. This can be something you complete in your student teaching or clinical teaching experience. Um, if you are going to go on and be a teacher initial certified, if you're being a master technology teacher, then the standards you would use here would be the MTT standards and all the artifacts you would link would demonstrate competency in the master technology teacher standards. If you're wanting to be a school principal, then you would do the educational administration standards. 
Um, if you are wanting to be a counselor, the standards would be counselor education um, pieces. And so all of those are available on the TEA website to copy and paste. So everyone's portfolio will look a little different, but I will tell you at the end of your program here at HB, you should have a completed electronic port portfolio that shows competencies uh, in the different standard areas. I hope this has helped you some. Uh, good luck to you as you construct your portfolio. When you finish, one last thing you need to know, when you, as you work on this, to save it, you really publish. And so once you publish, then it becomes live. I generally leave whatever I have set up in my name, I, you know, to be my portfolio. I don't do this extra one that you have to pay for. So when you create your website, they'll say, what do you want it to be called? And I always leave it with the .weebly.com. So then I can view, click on this and view the website live. And this is the link that you send people. Uh, so it is uh, live and editable and ready to go. Good luck on your portfolio. Have a great day.